So I put a mirror on one side and I would look at the painting and then I could just paint on it. Then eventually I ended up just painting through the mirror, you know, like that. And I've done that ever since. The place I was painting, I had to paint in the loft. Uh, there was a huge big skylight, so I was painting under this skylight, but there was no boards in the, it was just the beams. So I brought up all these bits of wood and stuff and made an island <laughs> underneath this, and that was my studio. But of course, when you're painting, you have to get back from it to see it, especially if it's a landscape or something, you know, or an imaginative piece, which is just comes straight out of your brain. I used to do a lot of that um, early on inspired by album covers and that sort of art, you know. So I used to do a lot of that. But anyway, I'm, so I had to get back, so I put a mirror on one side and I would look at the painting and then I could just paint on it. Then eventually I ended up just painting through the mirror, you know, like that. And I've done that ever since. Especially outside, and it just speeds everything up. Because you can see your canvas from 10 feet away, but you're working directly on it all your composition and the balance and all the rest of it is all very easy because you're so far away from it and so it's very immediate painting it like that. It would take me maybe half an hour to get to the point where my concentration's up enough that um, every mark is correct, you know, and then that you, you want to try and extend that process for as long as you can before you're interrupted or before you you're tire of it. And you can tell because it, you'll start destroying what you've already done. So you have to know when to stop it. Somebody comes up when you're in the middle of it and it's going really well and you've, you've been trying to get into that, you know, all day and then suddenly it happens and then you're working away on it. And someone comes up and goes, um, oh, you're painting, I see. You know, and, uh, <laughs> and that's it, it's gone. The, once, that, once you've been disturbed like that, that's it. You have to start from the beginning again. You know, which is too much hassle. At the end of the day, the lights changed, everything starts going wrong, you know, and the actual time spent painting was was the big thing for me, you know, because I just loved that. I couldn't get enough of that, no matter what the weather was like, you know, I'd love to be outside painting, which I'm still like that, and if I get a chance, I'm, I'm off, you know. So that, that keeps me going, that, that always kept me going. The, the sort of big prize at the end of it never really, you know, I just assumed that I would be successful. <laughs> I'm still assuming that, and uh, one day it might happen. <laughs> but, you know, staying here, and, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good lifestyle, even though we've got no money, you know, but this is good enough for me. I'm quite happy with this. Well, it's, it's 50 years, you know, of, farting about with stuff. <laughs> we racked up a fair old bill for Gordon's uh, joinery work. And I said, I'll do your painting. I just asked him what he wanted in the painting. Oh, thanks, Lord. I see you've got the three characters down the left hand side here. Yes. Yeah. Straight out of the movie. I seen... you... Black Rock. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so you'll have to watch it again to oh. identify what shot that was in. Well. Although they, they have changed a wee bit. Really? Yeah, I think this guy here in the film is the end there. He's in between them, a wee bit further back. It's just stunning. Uh, it was it had to develop the area. So, I don't know. What is that building? It's not a station. San Diego, it's Santa Fe uh, Depot. It's, it's been there since 1915. So, really? world famous. Aye. I think they nearly knocked it down about 10 years ago. Uh -huh. But they managed it successfully campaign for it and get it saved. So, Amazing, you know, just for a, a it's, it's more like a train warehouse, you know, it was built for, it wasn't built as a station, but it's like a cathedral, you know, it's like a big Spanish cathedral, it's just what, how they did it, how they built these things. I can't let that one go, it's not even finished yet, you know, after a year, I want that to be, you know, finish that one properly, so. I mean, this is, I'll talk it down, you know. What's that? I'll talk the whole thing down, <laughs> that's what happens. Right. You know, but I better not. <laughs> I just point out mistakes and things. Are you, uh, what you see and what I see, I just sort of want to This is what I was looking for. Just keep it in there. So, I mean, it looks like the 1950s. So yeah, I was going to make it a Austin Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> or a maestro. 
you did. <laughs> yeah. What you did. Uh, in your position. Well, I thought you said 1970s. Oh. <laughs> and that's slapped. <laughs> Get us. So, so really just brilliant, mate. Absolutely. I'm still not finished. Yeah, just keep going. Just keep going and you know, until I'm beyond doing it. That's it, that's all there is. You know, I knew that from a very early age. I thought, I'm not, there's no way I'm gonna ever retire from this. You know, it's just something you're just gonna keep doing and you know, and you read about the cats and all that, you're still drawing on their deathbeds and all that sort of stuff. So um I've always had that. You know, and there's no need to stop because I enjoy it. You know, the only problem is that um other people want your time, you know. Not mentioning any names, but I just see them all the same, you know. I don't have favourites. Well, the ones that I'm working on at the moment are the ones that I'm interested in. They're done, they're done. That's it. You know? Although people, you know, if, if there's something up in the gallery, people, oh, I really love this, I really love this, then I'll, I'll go, yeah, I really love that one. <laughs>